everyone. Today we will learn how to find LCM using division method. It is a shortcut method with the help of which we can find the LCM and it is the easiest method to find LCM. Let us begin with it. LCM stands for least common multiple or we can say lowest common multiple. From the name, the definition is very clear that least common multiple of two or more numbers is the smallest number among all the common multiples of the given number. It means that the least number, the lowest number or the smallest number from all the common multiples will be the LCM. So if you haven't watched my video of factors and multiples, watch it so that you understand what the multiples and the common multiples are. From the common multiples, the smallest one will be the LCM. And we have three methods to calculate LCM. Listing factors method, which is just the definition of the LCM. Prime factorization method, which we have already done. And the division method, which we are going to do. I'll link uh, the listing factors method and the prime factorization method in the description so that you can watch that videos as well because in the exam you can get the question find LCM using prime factorization method. So they mention the method with which you have to find the LCM. So you it's better you, you know it. So let's start with the LCM by division method. Step one, whatever the numbers you have, you'll write the numbers horizontally in a sequence by separating them with the commas or with the lines. Then divide the numbers by the smallest prime number. So we know the prime numbers now because we have done in so many videos before in HCF. So prime numbers are the numbers which have only two factors that is one and itself. And the smallest prime number is two. Uh, in easy way, we can say the numbers which do not come in any table, they come in their table and the one table only. Those are the prime numbers. So 2 doesn't come in any other table. 2 is a prime number. Then 3 is a prime number. Then 5. So we'll check the smallest prime number that the given numbers divide exactly. If any number is not divisible, like we have 3 numbers or the 2 numbers from which only 1 number is divisible by 2, then the other number will be written as it is. If any number is not divisible, then write down that number as it is. Keep on dividing the row of numbers by prime numbers unless we get the result as 1 in the complete row. This you will better understand with the example which you are going to do. In the last row, you need 1. For Till that, you have to repeat this process. You have to use the prime numbers and then you will do write the quotients below. After that, what LCM will be? LCM will be equal to the product of all the prime numbers we got from the division method. So let's understand this better with the example. So we have to find the LCM of 14 and 28 by division method. Now in the division method, in this method, division method, you will be writing 1L and you will be writing 14 and 28 together into that. So we'll draw a vertical line. Then a horizontal line and we will write 14 and 28 in between. We separated it with this line. Okay, so let's check with the smallest prime number. Smallest prime number is 2 because it doesn't come in any other table. So we will write 2 here. Now check 14 comes in 2 table. Where it comes? 7. 28 also comes. So 2 14s are 28. So we will write 2 7s are 14 and 2 14s are 28. Now, 14 and 7. Check again with the 2 because smallest prime number is 2. That 14 comes in the table of 2. Yes, it comes where it comes. So, it comes at two, uh, 7. So, we'll write 2 here. Okay, so 2 table, 7 will not come. So 7 will be written as it is because it is not coming in the 2 table. But 14 is coming, so 2 7s are 14 will come. 7 as it is and 2 7s are 14. Now 7 is a prime number. It will, it will not come in any other number. So we'll write 7 and then 7 1s are 7. Now we have 1 in the last. So what the LCM will be all these numbers, all these prime numbers. So LCM of 14 and 28 will be 2 multiplied 2 multiplied 7. 
two twos are four, four sevens are twenty-eight. So we got the LCM twenty-eight. Let's see another example. In this example, we have four numbers: thirty-six, twelve, twenty-four, and forty-eight. And we're going to solve the LCM using the division map. So first, vertical line, horizontal line. We'll write all the numbers between them. Now let's check with the smallest prime number. Smallest prime number is two. For that, you need to use the divisibility rules now. Thirty-six come in the two table, yes, because the last digit is six. Twelve comes in the two table, yes. Twenty-four, yes. Forty-eight, yes. Because all these are even numbers. So I have uh, done the divisibility rule video as well. We have done already. So I'll link in the description. You can watch if you haven't watched the divisibility rule video yet. So it they are coming in the table of two. So I'll be writing two here. Where they come, you can divide thirty six with two. Whatever the quotient you'll get, that you'll write here. So I know already. Two ones are two. Two eight is sixteen. That is eighteen. Two eighteen is sixteen. Then two six is twelve. Two twelve is twenty four. And two twenty four is our forty eight. You can divide and can write quotients here. Now let's see again with the smallest prime number that is two. Even, even, even. All will come in the two table again. Write down two here. Where eighteen comes, two nines are eighteen, two threes are six, then two fours are two six are twelve, then two twelve are twenty four. We got this. Now again, smallest prime number two. Let's check with two nine will not come in two table. What about three? Three will not come in two table. What about six? Six will come and twelve will come. So we'll write two again because two numbers are here still which are coming in the table of two, the smallest prime number. So we'll write. Nine and three as it is. Two threes are six. Two threes are six. Two six are twelve. So we have written this. Now again check with the two. Uh, is there any number which is coming in the table of two? Yes, there is six. So we'll write two again, and other numbers will come as it is. So nine three three will come as it is, and two threes are six. So in uh, with Under six, we'll write three because quotient will be three here. Now again, check any number comes in the table of two. No, so I will not write two here. So next prime number after two is three. They'll come in three table. Yes, obviously they will come nine and three. So three threes are nine and three ones are three. Three ones are three. Three ones are three. So we still have three here. It will not go with two table. It will go only three table. It's a prime number. So now we have all ones. Three ones are three. Now all these numbers are the LCM. We'll multiply. We'll product all of them. And we'll get the LCM. So two multiply two multiply two multiply three multiply three, and you got your answer when you multiply all these. One forty four is your answer. Okay, moving next. Find LCM of three and eleven by division method. Now three and eleven are the prime numbers. Let's see what. We'll get when we find LCM of the prime numbers. Rule is same. Vertical line you'll draw, and the horizontal line. Then three and eleven you'll write. Now again check with the smallest prime number two. Obviously it will not come because they themselves are the prime numbers. So it first will go after two three table. Three ones are three and eleven will come as it is because eleven is not coming in the table of three. Now eleven itself is a prime number. It will not go with any other table. So eleven ones are. Eleven. So we got three and eleven only. So LCM of three and eleven will be three multiply eleven. That is three eleven is thirty three. So when you are finding LCM of prime numbers, you can directly multiply and get the LCM. You need not to solve it by any method. So remember this trick when you are finding LCM. If you do it, it's okay. But the trick is if you are doing the LCM of the prime numbers, you can just multiply them. You'll get your answer. Now it's your time to do some workout. Pause the video. Answer this question in the comment section. Write your favorite method to find LCM. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe and like. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye bye.